a block of mass m is released on this track from a height h above the horizontal ground as you can see. So, what I have written? Work done by gravitational force, work done by all forces is equal to change in kinetic energy. Hello students, here is a very conceptual problem based on work power energy chapter. You are not supposed to do any calculation here, but you must, you must have a very clear understanding of the work energy theorem or the mechanical energy conservation rule to answer this question. This is a vertical track which is very smooth, there is no friction and a block of mass m is released on this track from a height h above the horizontal ground as you can see. This block is released from rest, there is no friction, it slides down and reaches the uh, lowest portion that is the horizontal portion. Now, we will take this horizontal level as the reference level for measuring potential energy, which means when block reaches here, its potential energy is 0 and when it is at height h, its potential energy is mgh. So, the block is released from here, it slides down and gains speed. When it reaches here, its speed is let us say v. This whole thing was observed by an observer standing on the ground. If you ask this observer why the block has gained kinetic energy, he will say that the block has lost a gravitational potential energy that is equal to mgh and that is why it has gained kinetic energy and the gain in kinetic energy must be equal to mgh or in other language, in other words, he can also say that gravitational force has performed work on this block and work done by gravitational force is mgh. So, according to work energy theorem, work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. So, he may say that work done by gravitational force which is mgh is equal to gain in kinetic energy of the block. Okay. Both the explanations are equally valid. Now, think of an observer who is moving at constant velocity v in horizontal direction. Now, what is v? v is the final speed that the block acquired uh, when it reached the lowest position of this slide. Now, let us assume that there is another observer who is moving horizontally at constant speed v. You go and ask this observer what, what does he observe about the motion of the block? Then, if he does not know physics well, he will not be able to answer, he will sound confused. Ask this observer, ask this observer the same question. What do you see? He will say, initially the block has a potential energy of mgh, initially the block has a potential energy of mgh, right? And he will say that initially the block has a kinetic energy of half mv square. Look at this man, he is moving towards right with a speed v. So, for this man, for in the reference frame of this man, obviously block will have an initial velocity towards left that is equal to v. For this man, initially the block is not at rest, it is having a velocity v towards left. So, for this man, the initial energy of the block is potential energy as well as kinetic energy. So, this is the total energy of the block as far as this man is concerned initially. Now, he also sees that the block slides down and reaches the bottommost part of the inclined surface. For this man, when the block reaches here, for this man, the velocity of block will be 0, is not it? This man will see that this block is not having any speed. So, finally, finally for this man, this is initial kinetic energy and uh, initial mechanical energy, kinetic plus potential energy and the final mechanical energy for this observer will be 0, because he will say that block is neither having any potential energy nor it is having any kinetic energy. So, in this reference frame, 
the block is originally having this much energy, but its final energy is 0. Where has the energy gone? That is your question. You have to explain, you have to give physical reasoning for loss of this energy. Where has the energy of the block gone as observed by this fellow? How will this man explain the loss in mechanical energy of the block? That is the question. Please pause the video, give it a thought, try to come up with an, with an answer. <coughs> Okay. The answer is not very complicated. In fact, it is very simple. <laughs> Actually, uh, in the ground reference frame for this observer, the only force that is performing work on the block is mg, the gravitational force. The normal force that acts on the block when it is sliding does not perform any work on the block as observed by this man because normal reaction is always perpendicular to the track and if you consider a very small displacement of this block, very small displacement of the block on the track, the small displacement is tangential. So, for any small displacement of the block, work done by this normal force is 0. In short, velocity of this block is always perpendicular to normal force. Therefore, the normal force does not deliver any power, it does not perform any work. This is true as far as this reference frame is concerned. The only force which performs work is mg. So, work done by mg is equal to change in kinetic energy is fine, very good. But when it comes to this observer, this normal reaction force will perform work on the block. Can you see that? For this man, for this man, uh, in a very small interval of time, the displacement of this block is not exactly tangential to path. Because just imagine that, just imagine that this block is not moving, just imagine that this block is not moving. But this observer himself is moving. So, he will see that block is moving this way, is not it? So, in ground frame, in ground frame, a very small displacement of block happens in this direction, but in this reference frame, there is a horizontal displacement also. In this reference frame, apart from this motion, there will be additional horizontal movement of the block, is not it? So, the displacement, resultant displacement of the block as seen by this observer in a very small interval of time is not tangential, it is not perpendicular to normal reaction. I hope you all can see this. So, the normal reaction force is not exactly perpendicular to displacement vector, small displacement vector in this reference frame. So, the normal reaction force does perform work on the block. Yes, normal reaction force does perform work on the block in this reference frame. It is a fact and many of you must have learnt it that work done by a single force might have different values in different reference frames. So, here is another example of that only. In this reference frame, the normal reaction force is not performing any work, but in this reference frame, the same normal reaction force will perform some work, definitely. So, actually this man will say that work done by gravitational force plus work done by normal reaction force, right, is equal to change in kinetic energy of the block. So, final kinetic energy of the block is 0. In this reference frame, final kinetic energy of the block is 0. In this reference frame, the initial kinetic energy of the block is half m v square, because initially this man finds that block is moving in this direction with speed v. So, what I have written? Work done by gravitational force, work done by all forces is equal to change in kinetic energy. That is your work energy theorem. So, work done by gravitational force plus work done by normal reaction force is equal to change in kinetic energy. The equation that I have written, it is equation in reference frame of this man basically in this car. So, obviously, normal reaction work done is not 0. Work done by normal reaction is half mv square, right, minus work done by gravitational force. 
the work done by gravitational force is of course minus uh, work done by gravitational force is mgh i bring it to this side and it becomes minus mgh so it is the normal reaction force which is actually performing negative work which is equal to this much right can you see that so work done by normal reaction force is not zero when i talk in terms of energy uh, this is the negative work done by normal reaction force and that is the reason why we see that this much amount of mechanical energy has vanished uh, earlier the system the block was having this much amount of mechanical energy because of negative work performed by normal reaction force in this reference frame the whole energy has become zero this is 100 and there is minus 100 so if something is having 100 joule of mechanical energy and if you perform a negative work of 100 joule on it then its total energy will become zero so that is the whole thing i hope all of you have understood this and enjoyed this as well please share this video with your friends and help me increase the subscriber base thank you